Hello everybody, uh, this is the Daily Bread Homestead, just here to do a quick uh, video. Uh, here on the East Coast, we've had um, some interesting weather here of late, hasn't been this cold in quite a while. Uh, I think uh, right now we're looking at 17 degrees, uh, which actually isn't so bad right now because the winds have died down. Uh, 17 degrees with no winds. Is actually quite doable. 17 degrees with 20, 30 mile an hour winds is a completely different story. I work outside a lot. I work um, in a garden center. Believe it or not, there's still work to be done. We're actually getting ready for spring, which should be here in about 72 days, I believe. Anyway, uh, the reason I wanted to do this video is, um, you know, if you're thinking about moving out to the country. Right now, you're you know you might be living in something. I have you know have a townhouse here, and it's quite comfortable. I actually keep it um, a little on the cool side. One, it saves me uh, money. Two, uh, it gets you a little a little more acclimated to cooler temperatures. Right now, in this room, it's about 62, and I have a window over here, so this room will warm up uh, quite a bit, probably up to about. 65, 66 uh, the next hour or so. If you're going to move out to the country, unless you have a lot of money and you're going to build, you know, a house with, you know, all the luxuries and amenities, you might, you know, you're going to have to get used to working or being in extreme weather. If you're going to have animals or if you're going to have a homestead, you know, if uh, you have to go outside and it's 10 or 15 degrees, you have to do what you have to do. So, um, I have cold weather gear I've purchased over the, you know, several years. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a, um, insulated overalls. I think I bought those used on eBay. I paid less than $25, I think, and they were practically new. They retail for, you know, about a hundred dollars up to two hundred dollars depending upon which one you buy what I would suggest is you know again if you're if you're thinking about moving out to the country go outside when the temperatures are extreme uh, pick a project it has you know it can be something simple go outside and get an idea of what it's like to work out in cold temperatures most people who live in urban areas and cities have no idea what it's like to go outside and complete a task when it's 15 degrees and the wind's blowing, you have to you have to be you know you have to be prepared for that. And now is that's Elvis. Now would be a good time to learn what you need, uh, so you can purchase those items rather than waiting till you get to where you want to go. And then finding out, oh crap, I'm not prepared. So go ahead, pick a little project, go outside when it's, you know, 17, 18 degrees or whatever it is. Um, you may not live in, you know, an area where, um, you know, it gets that cold. But if it's someplace that's hot, go outside and work. Work in the heat. You'll find out real quick, first thing you need is a lot of water make sure that's always available and uh, um, prepare now so that when you're you're in these situations you don't have to worry about it you're already already set you don't have to run out and try to uh, find what you need at the last minute <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> you can take your time start buying your supplies now like i said i bought a lot of cold weather gear i don't think i paid retail for any of it <clears throat> i looked on ebay Got good prices on things. I have, you know, insulated overalls. I have uh, thick jackets, uh, socks, boots, gloves, all that. Anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. This is the Daily Bread Homestead, and we'll see you down the road.